in this session we are going to learn about objects now when we talk about object objects are very important in javascript because in javascript everything almost everything is an object so if you are aware of any object oriented programming languages like we have c++ java in that objects are different but in javascript objects are different so you should not get confused with those object with this javascript object because in javascript almost each and everything almost entire thing is an object so this is very very important topic and when it comes to important topic there are multiple concepts which has to be learned so first we will see about the topics which we will be covering in the object and this video will be divided into sections so that it will be easy for you to understand on each topic so first we will understand what are object in this session then we will see how many ways are there to create objects what are properties in objects what are methods in object these are most important topics inside the objects we have how to display objects how to display what i mean means how to print objects then we have getters and setters what are object constructors very important object prototype what are object sets and maps we are going to see and finally we will talk about object iterables this iterables when we talk about control statements then we are going to learn about this topic but as of now in this objects we are just going to cover this entire topic except this object iterables because if you don't have an idea on for loop while loop do while loop it will be very difficult to understand this object iterables so once we learn about that session we will continue this and we will learn about this topic so now in this session let's understand about objects we are going to see this first topic objects are nothing but they are identifiable entities that have a set of attributes behavior and a state now what this mean is objects are nothing but they are real world entity everything is an object if i take an example of pen pen is having some properties like weight the length the color whatever it is pen is having that property and what action pen can do pen can write using pen people can write so if i take an example of mobile mobile is an object and for that mobile we are having plenty and plenty of characteristics we have color of the mobile we have buttons we have weight of the mobile we have model we have storage we have camera space whatever it is there are plenty and plenty of characteristics of mobile when it comes to behavior and whatever state it is like what i can do using mobile i can call the person i can text the person i can watch movies i am performing some actions so those are called as methods basically in objects there are properties and methods properties refers to characteristics and methods refers to actions so these are the basic examples of real world entity okay this is no way related to javascript this car pen mobile email this is not related to javascript it is just an example on real world objects as i told you if you understand object you understand javascript it is a main stump in javascript so before talking as we have already seen object comes under non primitive data type that is our reference data type and we were having primitive data types as well so before going into non primitive data type reference data type let's understand little bit of primitive data type so that you will be having a clear understanding on what is the difference between primitive and non primitive data type 
except primitive values almost everything in javascript is an object so now primitive values now these primitive values we are having string numbers this will not be having any properties or methods strings we have already learned in our previous session and if you have learned about primitive string you would have already seen that will not be having any property or method but when we create string using new keyword then that string will be having properties and methods but primitive string will not be having any property or method so don't you don't have to worry about that if you have not seen strings video i will be explaining you about properties and methods in this session as well because these are the two most important topics in objects because in object we will always have properties and methods now there were seven primitive data types and these are the primitive types we have learned but for null we were having the data type as object that you don't have to worry it is just a bug now this is a example how we create variable now this var it is the var keyword my name is the variable and this value is the value okay whatever value i have given here that is the value now in primitive data type we have already seen in strings whatever methods i apply to string the original string will not be updated i will be getting the new string so which means that the original value we cannot change so in primitive data type the values are immutable which means we cannot change the original value now as we have seen primitive values does not have any properties or methods so now here comes two things properties and methods so now properties it is just an attribute and method is nothing but it is a way to perform certain operations as i told you property is an attribute which means for pen i have weight i have color i have length whatever it is actions method what i have i can write using the pen so these are called as methods now let's see objects in javascript how objects are used in javascript so as we have already seen it is a entity so it is nothing but it is a stand alone entity which will be having properties and methods okay, which will be having this type as well so which will be having properties and methods so let's take an example of a car now here i am having one car and for this car we will be having multiple properties and methods now few properties are weight we have weight of the car we have color there are plenty and plenty of colors inside the cars we are having design of the car we are having model of the car when it comes to method we have brake using brake we can stop the car starting the car stopping the car increasing the speed of the car those are the actions which are performed on car so those are called as methods property is nothing but it is just going to tell what characteristics that object is having method is nothing but it is going to tell what action that object is going to perform okay the same way javascript object can have properties and methods which will define their characteristics and actions so in object we are having property and we are having methods so a javascript property is a member of an object that associates a key with a value okay this is a simple example this is how we create a basic object you don't have to worry about this how we create object in our next part we are going to see practically how to create object and we will understand more deeply about object so this is the basic example and these will be separated using colon and after second property we will be having this comma separated by comma this f name and this l name what you can see 
those are called as properties whatever i give before colon those are called as properties now method is nothing but now when this property contains a function it is called as a method now this is how it will look like inside this function we can return anything so inside object we have properties and we have methods properties are nothing but basic characteristics methods are nothing but performing some actions so inside one property we are just going to define one function so this becomes a method so as we have seen object values will be returned as a name value place and this will be separated by colon here so here i will be having name and colon whatever value i want to give i can just give that one this name refers to a property now objects are variables as i told you in javascript almost everything is an object in variables we have already seen we can store single values in that but when it comes to object we can store multiple values now this is the example now inside one object i have created two values okay i am having two properties now when you are creating objects it is always suggested that to use const keyword instead of let use const keyword why we are going to see practically as of now this is just a theoretical part just to get basic understanding on objects once you are basic is strong then it will be easy for you to grasp with practical knowledge so inside that inside this example first name and last name is called as properties okay both are called as properties and object properties can be both primitive values other objects and functions now what this mean is now this properties can be having another object it can store arrays it can store functions it can store string values now inside this first name i have stored string value now in place of this string i can give another object i can create another object i can create function i can create array whatever i want i can just give that value and methods are nothing but those are the actions that can be performed on objects as i told you object method is nothing but it will be containing a function so this is how inside this i'm having full name here i have just passed one function this function is returning first name and last name now you are seeing one keyword here this keyword this keyword is referring to this owner okay this is the owner my data inside this we are having all this data properties and methods so this refers to this data my data and inside this i am having this property first name so it will be accessed and i will be getting the result so once we see practically how to create object how to call this function how to display properties you will be having much clarity on objects so this is the basic understanding of object once you understand what are objects what objects hold what are properties what are methods how to access objects how to store objects how to display objects then this will be very very easy for you to get started with object objects are very very important in javascript we will continue more further about object in our next session